Okay, so I was just doing homework in my room and then I just saw online that there's a huge protest going on at City Hall to welcome all the refugees and show our support. So I figured, hey, I really want to see what it's all about. So come with us as we see what the protest is all about. Yeah. Oh, it's all over there, I think. Directly, no people are directly affected by this okay. My first name's Joanne. Okay, hi Joanne. Hi. So, why do you feel like it's important to come to these protests? Well, because soy Latina. I'm a gender studies professor, so I have like to practice what I preach. I have two children. <laughs> I've always protested things that I don't believe in. Was mm -hmm. in the AIDS. My parents had me protesting in Viet for Vietnam, you know, against Vietnam when I was little. So it's just something that I know what to do to have my voice heard. And I like making the signs, the arts and crafts. <laughs> so I have no hate, no fear. All Trump's wives are welcome here. important to come to these protests? Um, I wanted to come to this protest because I didn't make it to the Women's March last week. Um, so I just wanted to make sure I made my voice heard whenever possible. What do you hope to see accomplished at the end of all of this? I think it's, for me it's less about the end, it's more about just experience, everyone coming together and having the same uh, point of view and vision to uh, you know, give everyone the same rights. This is what democracy looks like. This is what America looks like. This is what America looks like. This is what More of a positive note, what do you hope to see accomplished in the future? Immigration plan is not going to work. This is a nation that built immigration, and uh, most of the country that banned are not even terrorists. So, this is against humanity, it's not acceptable. As a country, we should be moving forward instead of moving back. So, why is it so important to come to the protests? Because I think uh, this is everybody's problem. I guess the people like, from Middle East are the ones. I hope the you know, like. Like the hate goes away and the racism and everything. I hope like they treat all people the same because we are the same. We are the same. So why are you here today? I'm here because it's not the America I know. It's not. Uh, there's a point at which you just have to say thank you. No, my uh, kids, are, my daughter is at another airport. Uh, my son. We're all. We all just want to say no. I mean, this is not. Um, it's scary. I mean, it's just scary that this man can come in and, with uh, backup, can actually just in one fell swoop start thinking he can. Uh, make these kinds of inhumane choices and think we're all going to say okay. So what are your hopes for the future? Um, that we could get along and that Trump gets impeached and that all his cabinet just dissolves. Why do you think we need to keep doing these protests? Just to, to spread the, the voice, to let everybody know that we're not going to stand for it. The more people uh, organize and get involved, the more wish we throughout not just America, the whole world. Climate change deniers in charge of the environment. 
So what's your name? Patricia. So what do you hope to see accomplished after all these protests? I've never wanted Trump in the White House in the first place. I don't know how this man made it this far. He's a maniac. He's going to get us into World War III. There are just so many things he's doing that are wrong. We're dealing with an artist, I don't know if I pronounce it right, a xenophobic. Um, he hates everybody. He hates the sun. I mean, what does he not hate except himself? And we are a democracy. He is not representing us. The world feels sorry for us. We are embarrassed by this president. <laughs> Who doesn't have a mandate? We're going to work. I went to work today. I just happened to be walking by and going home to that mallet. And I saw a lot of people, so I joined. That's our That's daily awesome. life now. Exactly. It sucks. Yeah. And I hope he feels the pain. They just need to put his <laughs> in jail. I'm going to say the word. <laughs> put this orange man in jail and lock him up for good. Or send him to Russia. <laughs> So what brings you to this protest? Um, the fact that I've never really felt alone until now um, because I think it takes a strong amount of empathy to try to realize everybody else is really feeling alone and after the women's march and after all of these it's the slight shred of hope that there is solidarity in these issues. The silver lining is at least we can all empathize together as a group but that's hardly even half of the battle and if we can overcome this together then I think that we'll be a more beautiful country on the other side and it hurts that it takes this much pain and this much suffering of other people to get to that. Um, but if we're successful, it'll be the only thing that makes that suffering worth it, anything. So, I'm trying. So what brings you to this protest today? Well, we've been at a lot of protests lately. <laughs> um, so, I mean, I work with immigrants every single day. I work as a teacher. Oh, and so awesome. most of my students are, if not from another country, their families are from another country. Um, my family, personally, we are a family of parents who are immigrants. So we feel very strongly, right, that we understand that it's it's something that is getting worse and worse in terms of the treatment of immigrants in our country, and particularly as the travel ban was implemented, it was scary. It was scary to see families separated, um, and it's particularly scary as someone who works with children every single day to see my own students, my own kids panicking and wondering what's going to happen to them and to their families. And I'm talking of all ethnicities, all backgrounds, all credences, kids are scared. You know, so that, that motivates motivates me to be here and to say, I'm not about this ignorance, I'm not about this hurtfulness, I'm about telling my kids that we're here and we're going to protect you and we're going to do everything that we can to fight for what's right and keeping you and your family together and helping you feel safe in this country because that's what America is supposed to be about, about being inclusive and about being a place that is meant to be welcoming. So the protest just ended and when they say that your blood just starts like boiling up and you start getting really like heated up and really excited and passionate, they're not kidding. This protest, to be a part of it, even just for a little bit, was so inspiring and listening to everyone and hear their stories and what they have to say about it truly warmed my heart. And hopefully by watching this video you guys got to see exactly what it is that goes on during these protests and all the diversity that's surrounded in these groups. So let's hope for a more united future and if you want to subscribe to my channel that would be awesome and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye!